Welcome to another Figma tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to swap component instances and manage states. If you haven't watched Components 1, The Basics, and Components 2, Organizing Components, be sure to check those out first. The ability to include an instance inside of another master component allows for small, detailed components to be combined with others to create larger, more complex interfaces, all while maintaining control over each individual component. Let's take a look at another example to see how nested components work. In this file, we have three different components. The first is a component named card slash user row, which provides the structure for each user row inside of our app design to the right. The remaining two components are both buttons, button slash primary and button slash secondary. If we click into our user row component, we see that there is an instance of our primary button inside. If we decide to adjust the styling of our master button, we only need to change our primary button master component. Each instance, including the instance inside of the user row component, is also updated. When a nested instance is selected, replacing it with any other component is easy. Let's imagine we would like for there to be a secondary button in the second user row rather than a primary button. To swap out this instance, start by selecting the primary button instance. Open the instance swapping menu in the instance section of the properties panel. We can now swap our selected instance with any other component in our file. The instance we want to swap must be in the file. We can also see that our components menu is grouped into two sections, button and card. Figma automatically sorted these for us because we named our components using the slash naming convention that we learned in our video on organizing components. Let's swap this for our secondary button. Just like that, we've successfully swapped our primary button instance for our secondary button instance. We can also swap components directly from the components tab, or if you belong to a professional team, from the team component library. Let's open the components tab by using the shortcut option two and locate our secondary button component. To swap this with our primary button, we can click and drag out an instance and move our mouse over our primary button instance that is nested within the user row component. If we were to release our click here, we would just drop an instance onto the canvas. In order to swap this instance, we need to hold down both option and command. When we do that, a purple outline appears around the primary button. This communicates which component will be swapped. When we release our mouse click, the secondary button instance will be swapped. Swapping instances, whether you do it from the instance swapping menu in the properties panel, or from the components tab or team library is very useful for creating and managing different states of your components. In our example, we have two different states. The first is before we followed a user, where we have a primary button that allows us to follow them. The second is after we followed a user, and we now have a secondary button to unfollow them. To switch between these two states, we can repeat the same process of swapping buttons, but we could also create two user row components for these states. This is helpful when there are multiple nested instances, not just a single button, that would need to be swapped in order to completely change states. Let's review what we've learned today. Component instances can be nested inside of master components. Swap nested instances from the instance swapping menu. Hold option command if you swap by dragging out an instance from the components tab or the team component library. Build out the different states of your components to easily swap between them.